This video is gonna be super honest. An obstacle course. I'm gonna go a little crazy in here. Oh, stay there, don't move. <laughs> and if it's not a clear yes, it's a no. Hey guys, welcome back to Do It At A Dime with Catherine. If you struggle to declutter, I am so glad you are here. Today we're doing a complete closet makeover on a budget. My closet has recently felt so suffocating and I want nothing more than to walk in and feel completely free, but it is a struggle for me. Can you relate to that? So I did what any well-meaning person would do. I went to the store to get a quote for a custom closet install and it was over two thousand dollars what <laughs> and i thought that's like a really nice vacation i want to do this for like fifty dollars this space is a blank slate i could rearrange it all right but the truth was, I was a lot more stressed out about this than I was letting on on camera. I started to declutter, took a few things out, and I felt instantly overwhelmed. I truly felt like I couldn't make a good decision. And I think what was worse is I already had my dream closet in my head, and I still really wanted it, like this one and this one. And I felt like my space couldn't live up to what I needed. Oh, this is stressing me out. Okay. Sometimes when you're decluttering, you just need to change up your strategy. So I decided to change my mindset and ask what's good. I removed everything from the space, not to see what I had, but that way I could only put back what I love. If stuff I love is in the closet, it's a lot easier to love the closet. And this is everything I'm donating here. And as luck would have it, I had a leftover can of paint. We don't have any paint stirrer sticks, so we're improvising. No, 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 no that's not. The other side. This? Yeah, that's right. Did you know that very technically, this is not for toilets, it's actually for sinks? I know. Mm -hmm. Thanks for filming, Carson. You're welcome. It was really fun to do this with Carson. He got to stay up past his bedtime. But I think for me, that's when something magic happened. I got to re-identify my why. And actually, as I was painting, I realized this was a pretty decent space. I don't love metal shelves to begin with, but the configuration works really well for how it needs to be used. It reminded me that my why is freedom. I don't need tons of choices. I don't have the emotional bandwidth for it. I want the freedom to make super easy ones. And I had already most of what I needed. All right, that looks good. I love this reverse idea of putting back first what you love, not having to take out what you don't. And I'm so grateful to ThreadUp for partnering with me on this video. If you didn't know, ThreadUp is the largest secondhand clothing retailer with name brands up to 90% off estimated retail. I've worked with them for so many years. I would need many hands to count how many times. And what I love about it is it's eco-friendly, sustainable ways to shop secondhand. The dress I'm wearing today is actually from thread up lots of you guys have asked about it it was just 15 bucks from H&M this is why I love thread up because I can shop really quality stuff this is a free people top I also got a free people jacket I just love this this retails for $150 and I got it for 50 bucks. These Zara jeggings, I got half price. They retail for $40. I love this look and reach for it all the time. I have realized how wearable I need things to be and on my master list, I had a vest. This is a $90 Gap vest and I got it for 15 bucks. This pullover sweater you guys saw in a recent vlog was also just $15 and retails for 50. This is a $46 sweater and it was just $22. The more I know me, I feel like the better my wardrobe gets. This angular blouse was just $15. $15 and it retails for 70 from Ann Taylor. It's perfect for business meetings. It's comfortable, but not too formal. Knowing what's in my wardrobe and the things that I'm looking for and need is really helpful in making decisions. This Ann Taylor dress is just $30. It retails for a hundred. I deserve to have a closet that I love and I don't have to spend a lot to do it. I will be sure to link thread up down below with new and like new garments up to 90% off and save even more by using the code DIME at checkout for 30% off your first order.
So if you have holes or gaps in your wardrobe and need those things that you truly love, it's there for you. This was so refreshing for me to grab my favorite pieces and stick them back in that clean and open space. I realized I had some duplicates and needed to make some decisions along the way, but it became a lot easier when I was working with a space that was already making me feel good. Then I headed to Walmart to get a few organization products. I wanted this to be really affordable and I actually really love Walmart's closet organization. It's high quality and I really like the neutral color scheme. I only needed a few things. Also in this closet, I keep some of my memories, extra bags and gear. I got this over the hook organizer and one new shoe rack, but it was all really affordable under 30 bucks. Everything I didn't touch were the things I didn't need, and that way it didn't have to be a big decision where I had to put a lot of thought into it. I knew those pieces weren't for me anymore and could be a blessing to somebody else. So I put on a podcast and I started filling up bags. For me, it's always the things that are hidden in the back that I haven't touched in a long time I'm definitely not using. Those shoes that give you blisters, those clutches you never reach for. Items that just get in the way of your why. And mine is freedom. I was so super proud of myself when it was done. What's really crazy is I realized how much extra space that I had and how few things I needed to put into storage. I also decided to do a quick DIY. You know how I roll with these Dollar Tree plates and a little candlestick. I made this recently and I knew it would be perfect in the space. Freedom is where it's at. I couldn't believe how much extra hanging space I wasn't even using. Before, it was hard to open the door and it made me feel overwhelmed in the morning. And now, And here's the crazy part. I went back to look at my inspiration photos and realized I already had that space. I just had to act like it. I'm gonna have a link to thread up in my description box down below. Be sure to check it out because you deserve to have a wardrobe that you love. And don't forget to use the code DIME at checkout for 30% off your first order. I love you guys so much. If nobody has told you today, you are enough. And I cannot wait to catch you guys in the next video. Bye. I can take off this. Can Smart. I've I kind of like it on though. It adds, it gives it some flair. Owen is using this as an obstacle course. This is the hottest part. No, so much stuff.